OBS Studio is known as the best broadcasting software because you can install plugins made by the community to make it do whatever you want. Now, knowing that fact, today I want to show you four brand new OBS Studio plugins that you can download and install today. So make sure you like and subscribe and let's get right into it. All right, our first plugin is Record Name by the man, the myth, the legend, Exaldro. This one is pretty simple, but it's so useful at the same time. It basically allows you to immediately name your recordings, but also your replay buffers inside of OBS Studio. It's super easy to download. You just click on the download button and then download the Windows installer if you're on Windows. Then double click the installer inside of the zip file. Don't forget to restart OBS. And once you do, you can go to your tools menu up top here, go to Record Name, and then set it to record Set it to pop up once you're done with a set it to pop up for recordings and also replay buffers. I'm gonna remove it from my replay buffers because I don't mind the jumbled names. So if I were to test this right now, I'm using two OBSs. Hopefully it's not gonna crash. Hit records and then I stop the recording. Boom, it tells me, hey, you wanna re rename this file? And I can be like, awesome. Now when Exodra was talking about this plugin on Twitter, one thing that I said is if you click cancel, instead of naming it, you just click cancel. Please make it so that it doesn't cancel your whole recording. It just canceled the naming. And that's exactly what happens right here. You can see that my file is right there just with the original naming because I clicked on cancel. Second one is called draw also by Exaldro. And as you can see, it'll be a custom dock in OBS studio that will allow you to draw on the stream. Also very easy to install with a windows installer. Hi again. And once you have it installed and you restarted OBS studio, you can go to docs this time and we're going to go to draw. And then we will have a little pop up that looks like this, where I can basically select the options of my drawing and that actually has to happen on that little preview that you see here so if i want to go whoop, whoop, uh, 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 aww, aww. <laughs> you can see it appears <laughs> oh yes we can easily clear it and if we click on config there's all sorts of options including if i'm not mistaken some key binds to turn it on and off so if i go to settings, hotkeys, right there, you'll see draw clear, draw window, dock show, draw window or dock hide. And you can set your custom hotkeys for that. The next one is stream up hotkey display by our boy, Andy Lippy. If you remember, he made an appearance on the channel before. Are you talking about the Cena's transition plugin made by yours truly? And he has his own YouTube channel where he explains a bunch of stuff about OBS plugins. Super easy to install, just like the other ones to install it. This one also shows up in a dock. You go to docs and you will find stream up hotkey display dock. And this one looks like this and you can actually dock it wherever you want. Let's say right here. And what's really nice about this one is that if I create a text source, I'm going to go source text GDI, call this one hotkey. I'm going to put an example text here. I can absolutely stylize this the way that I want. My favorite font right now, Montserrat will go bold, very bold, boom, something like that. You can put outline, you can put shadows, you can put whatever you want but we're not gonna put any text. I'm gonna click okay. And now in my hotkey display, I can click on that little icon, that empty icon basically is the settings. And I can say display hotkeys in text source. All right, so this scene will be full screen here. The text source is hotkey. And then you can set the on-screen time. For me, I'm gonna put well, 1000 milliseconds for one second. And now if I type any keyboard shortcuts like Control S or Control E, it's going to display. Now it is specific for hotkeys. I don't know if I can get it to just type whatever key. It doesn't work if you type just a normal key without a modifier. So um, yeah, something like Alt S will work, but S itself, nothing. So do keep that in mind. Okay, our next plugin is called Recording Alert. Now, as someone who records every single day, this is pretty useful for me. This is basically a Lua script that will play a sound every time you start recording and also every time you stop recording. This one might be more complicated to install than the other ones because you have to manually place the files in the folders inside of your OBS folder. But I'm gonna show you right now that it basically comes with recording alert. You're gonna have your Lua file here and then you're gonna have the audio files. You just need to find where you installed your OBS and me, it's local disk C, so program files. OBS Studio, and then inside of OBS plugins, I'll put the beep folder. From there, it doesn't really matter where you put the Lua file, you can just summon it. <laughs> I have it inside of my 64 bits right there. And then all you need to activate it is to go to your OBS Studio, go to Tools, and then go to Scripts, because that's what it is. And from there, you can click on the plus and find where you have that Lua file. Okay, bring it in, and 
that's all there is to it. If I'm closing this, making sure you can hear the sound. If I start recording, we have this little beep. And if I stop, and of course, I also have my rename file activated. That's what I really love about OBS Studio is just how much you can customize it to your own taste. You make it do the things that you want it to do. And lastly, those may not be OBS plugins, but I have two websites full of resources for live streamers and content creators like yourself. And it's streamup.tips. You can see here we have access to alert packages, uh, currency, we have some effects, we have games, tools, widgets, everything you need to take your stream to the next level. And a lot of them are free. The next one is nutty.gg. If you don't know about Nutty, you should definitely check him out. He also has a YouTube channel where he explains all of the stuff about StreamerBot and how to do advanced OBS stuff. And again, lots of amazing resources, including some free ones. I think his latest drop was the multi-chat overlay. So definitely check that out if you multi-stream. But there's also the music widget, which I'm actually thinking of making extra backgrounds for this specific music widget. So let me know in the comments if that's something you would like to see, maybe some 3D backgrounds to accommodate this overlay. So maybe you can combine it. So maybe you can combine my stuff plus his stuff to have extra stuff. <laughs> we got some streamer bot widgets. We have some streamer bot widgets member exclusive widgets, and of course, a link to his YouTube channel, as well as an embed of his Twitch right there. Look at that, he's live right now. Her money in the pocket, guys. I'm not quite sure. Something tells me she's got her money in the pocket. That's right. <laughs> Oh, and of course, I got to promote my own stuff too. You can go to gumroad.com slash get level if you want to find some overlays, some alerts, some, some cool stuff for your live stream in general. Recently, I've been on a marathon of creating 3D alerts and I've been really enjoying it. So if you want to spice up your stream a little bit, your alerts could be looking like this or like this. Now, the cool thing here is that the vast majority of all the products are completely free. So you can get them and test them out until you find something that you really, really like or until you can afford paying an artist to make some custom stuff for you. Look at that stinger transitions, even buttons for the stream deck, track mat transitions, lots of cool animated stuff. This is a template where you can put your own logo and use it as a transition. Anyway, I've been Gal Level. Thank you so much for watching. Go follow me on Twitch. I will see you next time. Go out there. Make me proud. Gal Level, out.